We, we have seen very few states, uh, pockets of uh, very low queues, not only connected with the, the road situation that we are seeing. There are a number of blockages on our road, crossing products from the southern depots into the northern part of the country. And it takes them much longer time than they do now. They have to reroute the trucks around many, many locations for them to be able to reach. And that created delays, and that created some supply. But that has been filled, and we do not see any of such problems again. And secondly, because the full deregulation that we have in this sector, marketers are now competing amongst themselves. So one, you must have noticed some fuel station will reduce price by two naira and three naira. So customers will naturally run to the places where you have that reduction in, in prices. And that creates panic because for those who don't know why they are doing it, they will think that there's something wrong happening or there's an ominous sign of uh, scarcity and people start queuing up in the fields. Otherwise, there is no challenge. Supply is robust. We have over 1.4 billion liters of product in our hands, both marine and land. And also that uh, there are no issues around delivery of those products into the land. So we, there is no fear, nothing to bother about. But we're also, we're also happy that the market forces are now playing out and marketers are competing. And of course, there are a few issues we're engaging them to resolve uh, alongside other agencies of government. And there are critical issues around access to foreign exchange. And we, as you all know, government is doing so much to ensure supply of FX into the market. We know that these FX markets will stabilize. Current A and E window is around 770. And we know that those uh, inputs that, that is already happening, the inputs of government today will crystallize and also they will come to an equilibrium position in the FX market. And this is the dream of this country, so that we have a stable FX market, stable product market, where the product, prices of product would also speak to prices of other commodities. And this is already manifesting, and we think this is the economic revolution that this country needs. I told you there is no subsidy whatsoever. We are recovering our full cost from the products that we import. We sell to the market. We understand why the marketers are unable to import. We hope that they do this very quick. And this is some of the intervention government is doing. There's no subsidy. Thank you. Thank you.